But these chickens are just too big. They have to be dealt with this weekend. It's too crowded in the coop, no. Leaving this bird in the creek overnight plucks quite well. We were gonna have a little competition who can fillet and, and do the, the chicken the fastest. Chickens are all in the freezer except for four. Now, I was supposed to go to Vancouver Island today, but I came up here today and the water system is not working anymore. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. I'm going to try to build a bear-proof chicken coop. Yeah, I want to uh, order some chicks. We're going to try to get an automatic watering system figured out. Starting to crap on me. No bears getting through this. <laughs> so I let um, these chickens get a little too big. A lot of them can't even stand up anymore. But something I have to show you, and it's kind of a sad fact, but there's one hen here that has trouble standing up. And Hop Along is actually like um, comforting this chicken. And it sounds like she's saying, You comfortable? You comfortable? I'll show you. So I got one chicken here that I've uh, dealt with. Um, it's kind of getting dark, but what I want to show you is I'm going to tie it up and leave it in the creek overnight. And you can pluck them that way too, cold water. Next morning I'll be able to pluck it just like when you dunk it in the hot water. Most people dunk it in the hot water. Uh, I'm going to leave it in the creek, hopefully nothing finds it and pluck it in the morning. So I just uh, decided to leave Hop along and this other chicken outside the coop this time. That guy's choking on something. But these chickens are just too big. They have to be dealt with this weekend, <clears throat> which I'm gonna do, get some help. But I'm not gonna leave you in suspense. I have a plan for Hop Along and maybe uh, her new friend. Somebody gonna take them in. But the, realistically, these chickens only live so long. They're meat birds. Um, they'll probably die of a heart attack or something. But these two, I'm gonna leave them outside. I'll show you, they're getting comfortable, cuddled up together. It's too crowded in the coop, no. Um, they're too big. And the other ones just pick on them. Hey Hop, you got a new friend? Now well, all the other chickens are in the coop and Pop and her new friend are sitting outside here. Thought I'd see if they want some heat. You guys getting cold? I'm gonna try to cover you. Just stay there, Hop. Yeah, I got them covered up with uh, my shirt from Patagonia. Just cuddle up, see you in the morning. I can't even sleep right now. I'm just wondering if uh, Pop and her new buddy are still okay, so we're gonna go check on them. I don't know, strange thing, strange thing how they became buddies like that overnight, but new friends, new jacket, getting ready for winter. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm not gonna pass through your hop, don't worry. So anyways, uh, Hans is going to give me a hand to finish up the chickens. i got to get on with other adventures. But you folks have been asking where Hans is from. Where are you from? Germany. From Germany? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when did you come to Canada? Uh, 35 years ago. 35? Yeah. Okay, so not, not when you were a kid, like. No, 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 no. You know, I'm 77 today. Yeah. I'm 77, 77 years old, yeah. Today? Not today, this year. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, we were going to have a little competition who can fillet and, and do the, the chicken the fastest. Yeah, that's right. But you know that my hand is not working. Your hands is working. That's my name is Hans. I know. <laughs> and you're going to beat me hands down. <laughs> my baby, maybe not. <laughs> but anyways, I know you're faster at this than me. But we're just going to get these chickens done. I got to get on with other adventures. Yeah. I can't waste time. I believe you, yeah. Too much too much time, too much money. This chicken. Well, it is. Yeah. It just takes forever. So... 
You know, if I get a big game like an elk, I'm yeah. going to have trouble. Why? Well, because I can't use my hand properly. Wow. It's been three and a half months. Wow. They Terrible. said they said it could come back, but it yeah. could take a year. Yeah, that's what I'm doing half of the time. See, I can't pull anything, eh? I got yeah. no strength. Yeah. yeah. Like that's my big problem. This is a good knife I got too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a good knife that I have here too. Sharp. Yeah. Like you know what I find is like people that have knives that aren't sharp, like what's the point? Yeah, no, you, know? you need a knife, yeah. You gotta have a sharp knife. That's right. It's right there. Well, I'm doing pretty good keeping up with you considering. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just have the strength. And what what did you do for work? I was a businessman. I had restaurants in Kelowna. I had restaurants, Best Western Hotel, and uh, some other adventures. Oh, okay. So I did many businesses, you know. Right. Yeah. Come on, hand work. <laughs> so I'm done. You done? Yeah. Oh, you beat me hands down. Because <laughs> <laughs> I still got one leg. That's okay. I did a bit of rough chop this time because I know you're in the competition, you know, so after the, uh, you do a finer chop than me, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay, man. All right, thanks. You're very welcome. We're, we're yeah. going to get these birds done up. Yeah. And then I'm going to Vancouver Island on an ocean fishing trip. Wow. That should be good. Is it, what, what is it? Is I'm going to go for halibut, crab. Wow. But I got to get these birds in the freezer yeah, or I yeah, can't yeah, go. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. And I'll do one more. Okay, heads up. Like this, yeah. That's good. Okay, good. good. Enough, and they can use that for a cover photo. So I want to show you that leaving this bird in the creek overnight plucks quite well. You don't need boiling water like. Uh, some people were saying, oh, you got to use boiling water. You don't. I left this bird in the creek all night and it plucks just fine. The uh, chickens are all in the freezer except for four. I decided to let them live out their lives in the coop here. We've got Hop along. Uh, the other hen that she was with the other night, I'm going to call Cassidy. And then we got Butch and Sundance. Let them live their lives out. I've got enough meat, but I'm glad the project's over. But I'm still going to take Hop along on a little fishing trip or something. Give her some treats. I was going to let Hop along, uh, Cassidy, Sundance, and Butch live their life out here in the coop if uh, everything went well. But I came up here today and the water system is not working anymore. Now, I was supposed to go to Vancouver Island today just give them their food and away I go and I am not gonna start working on a water system and continually um, cancel my adventures over four chickens I just can't do it so I'm gonna get rid of the three but I will bring hop along to the island and maybe along the way I can find a place for her or a farm people that have chickens because I know it's a lot milder winters there she might even survive the winter in a spot down there. I'm sure you can understand. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, series. We're going to grab Hop along, and we're headed to the island. No more babysitting for Gregor. So this is Hop along. Oh,
Hope you enjoyed the series. I also wanted to mention before I take off on this adventure that uh, one of my big subscribers and fans, Rob Barr on the island, I'm gonna go visit him. Had this coat made for me. Got my name here. He calls me a bushcraft survival instructor. And uh, his organization basically uh, helps kids out get off the streets. So I'm gonna go visit him, thanks for the coat Rob I'm gonna see you soon